Smellogs Poop, the super delicious laxative, presents The Adventures of Sun King. Faster than the speed of light, more powerful than an atomic bomb, able to leap the moon in a single bound. What? Up in the sky! It's a comet! It's a UFO! No! It's Sun King! Yes, Sun King. And who? Disguised as mild-mannered tabloid reporter Mark Milktit, fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. It's a bright, sunny day at Cityopolis where we find ourselves within the offices of Capes Confidential where editor-in-chief and publisher Richard Suckle is holding a meeting with his top reporting staff. All right, now on to this uh, story about uh, Snakehead, the supervillain that recently escaping from prison. Uh, what's on this and what's the similarities from the, the, the last one? Uh, Layla? Well, there was a lot of confusion going on, and based on witness testimony at the site, it involved Night Night. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm sure that Night Night wouldn't want to break out a criminal. I, I'm sure uh, Snakehead probably just took advantage of a, uh, of a possible confrontation with Night Night in order to make good his escape. Uh huh. Well, and and, and what have you got to back up that theory there, Melt? Uh, that well, I it just based. I mean, I... Uh, yeah, yeah, just a uh, gut feeling there, Milton. Well, that's not going to cut it, buddy. We're going to need some sort of reference and sources. So you might want to get to work on that. And uh, by the way, this is what? A second breakout from Snakehead in less than a month. And as I recall, he had help from some mysterious costume character back then. What was that about? Uh, that... Uh, apparently, uh, it was some guy we'd never heard of before. He was in tights and a cape, uh -huh. and uh, had his sidekick. But uh, uh -huh. uh, someone, I I don't know, Bugman and Critter or something like that. Bugman and Critter, no, yeah, no, that's uh, something to lock into. It, I, it, I, there's something Scarab there. Scarab. What? It, his name is Scarab, Scarab and the Crimson Critter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Snapper Jones, is it? Yeah. yeah. Listen, buddy. Uh, you're just the podcast editor. You edit that. Oh, not me. Hey, uh, right. hey, someone's attacking Mama? the train station over at Schuster Avenue. Now, attacking it, is he doing it with superpowers? Or, uh, well, uh, yeah, he's smashing it with his bare hands. Oh, that's pretty good. But is he wearing a costume? Uh, well, I, I don't know. Reports say he's wearing a mask. Good enough. Get on it, guys. Oh, well, a superpowered villain destroying a train. No doubt that's going to lure out Sun King. Oh, I've got to get there. I haven't seen him in a while. Come on, Bubba, get your camera. Let's go. Okay, Layla. Hey, Milk Tent. You're going the wrong way. The elevator to the lobby's that way. I, I, d sorry, Mr. Suckle. I, 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 I mean, Dick. Uh, I, I suddenly have to visit y y the men's room. I, I'll be right on it as, as soon as possible. Oh, man. And soon, within one of the stalls of the Keeps Confidential Men's Room, Mark Milk Tit begins to disrobe to reveal his undergarments that are the costume and uniform of Sun King. I've got to act fast. I may only have seconds to lose, but oh, oh, oh man, man, look at that. that. The bottom of my cape is it's all wrinkled. That's what happens when you shove it down the back of your pants. Maybe if I heat it up a little. There. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. The wrinkles, the wrinkles are coming, are coming out. out. All right. Now to head to action. Let's see. where. Oh, damn, where was it? Um, uh, train, train station. Sta Schuster's, Schuster's the Schuster's train station. station. Yes. yes. All right. Over this window, window and end. it's up, 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 above and beyond. <laughs> and soon, Sun King soars through the open men's room window out into the city air, aloft on his way to Schuster train station. And within mere minutes, he arrives to find a ginormous smoldering crater of where the station used to be. Green snot. I must be a little late here. Uh, massive misery wounded the dead. Uh, I can only see who the perpetrator is. Oh, the one who just threw that train car at me must be him. Well, 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 look who finally showed up. Big golden pussy himself. You sick monster. All these lives lost, all this destruction. Just to get my attention. What was I supposed to do? 
I ain't got your damn phone number. Uh, well, yeah. Now, are you just gonna float around up there like a fairy? Or are you gonna come down here and face me man to man so I can whoop your ass? Your insults will have no effect on me, mister. And I refuse to lower myself to your level when I can simply finish you off with my Nova Blast. <laughs> Suddenly, a bright burst of solar energy strikes Sun King's enemy, burning away his outer clothing, revealing a metallic and somewhat familiar body. Green Scott, under his clothes, he's all metal, and it looks just like robotic outer coverings of, of Warhead, but but he died in Krepistan. Yeah, Warhead's dead, but Metalhead ain't. You think you can just burn your problems away with your sick, perverted golden stream? Guess again, buddy. I can respond to that in kind. Uh, uh, uh. Suddenly, a compartment opens up within the crotch of Metalhead's metallic body and out comes forth a stream of black energy, striking Sun King. Oh! Oh! It feels like dark matter! It must be energized dark matter! It's dark energy! I... Oh! Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, yeah! Oh, no. Brought you down low with the rest of us there, oh. Sun King. Oh. Come on now, wake up and look. Oh. I want you to see who beat you. You what? hide behind your little pussy mask, oh. but I ain't gonna hide. Oh, Take what? a good look at the face underneath this helmet, huh? Oh. So you'll know who really beat you. What? It... What? J John! John! Poke and taint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's right, golden boy. But how? You destroyed my life, and now I'm gonna destroy you. What? Yours, totally. John, you that's lay there that's... in this giant small no. pot. John, I wait. Fill it up with the remains of Listen that train. Listen to me. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, John, don't. <laughs> oh, too weak. Can't escape. No. No. Oh, no. Is this the end of Sun King? And how did John Pokentaint become Metalhead? Well, you'll just have to wait and find out in the next exciting episode of The, the Adventures, Adventures of, of Sun, Sun King. King! The Adventures of Sun King is a nail sin production. All characters and stories are written and performed by me, Douglas Nelson with music by Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources.